totally remember this. happy to see you today. As a matter of fact, I'm just plain happy today. I guess you can tell by the smile on my face. If I weren't happy, I'd probably look like this. And you could tell that I was either disappointed or angry by the frown. You can really tell a lot about how people feel just by looking at their faces. I guess you know that that's how you can tell how mother feels. You look at her face, see what kind of mood she's in, right? Did you ever look at a monkey's face, Bryn? I'm not sure what you can tell by looking at a monkey. But I'm sure it'd be a lot of fun. I love your funny face. Your sunny, funny face. For your cutie with more than beauty, you've got a lot of personality and tea you fill. I'd not replace your sunny, funny face. Today, oh, it's pretty good. We had a lot of good things going. But one other thing I did that I really liked, stopped by the elementary school, mm -hmm. first grade class, and they were having a guessing game. Really? Oh, yeah. Great guessing, guessing game. game. Well, rather than explain it to you, would you like to try it? All right. We yeah, get in it? Sure, okay. Right. Now, first of all, what happens is I show you some parts of things, mm -hmm. and you have to guess what the whole thing is. Mm -hmm. See mm -hmm. what I mean? Yes. All right. Okay, now you'll have to guess from the clues. Now, watch carefully. All right.
that was kind of fun, Gordon. Wow. Yeah. Like that, that was very easy. I knew what it was. An right elephant right. is a special-looking type of an animal. Oh, yeah? You got any yeah. hard ones? Hard ones? Yeah, I think so. Have you? Take a look at this and try to guess. Was a lot that harder. Was, yeah, that was tougher. I, uh, I thought I'd throw that. Kind of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Hey, Bobby, what were those things you brought home from school? Oh, we were just talking about some different shapes in class today, and I was explaining the difference between a, a square and a rectangle like this. Oh. Well, it's kind of interesting. Isn't a square a rectangle? Right. A square is a rectangle, but a rectangle is not a square. Hmm? Yes. Understand? No, I don't. You don't understand. No. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll explain it to you, Mr. Hooper. This is a rectangle, right? Four sides, one, two, three, four. All straight lines and four corners, one, two, three, four. All the same, sort of like a box, huh? Rectangle? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Rectangle, right? Okay. Another rectangle. Four sides, all straight lines, one, two, three, four. Four corners, one, two two, three, four, all the same, sort of like a box again, but a very special kind of rectangle. This is a square. You know why it's a square? Why? Because all four sides are exactly the same length. Oh. Okay? And you can see that in the rectangle, they're not the same length. Two sides are longer than the other side, right? Got it, Mr. Hooper? Yes. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> I still think, uh, you know, you should have had Kermit come to your class and explain it to the kids. Kermit? Kermit? Sure. Kermit's a rectangle expert. Tell him, Kermit. Hiya. Uh, my name is Kermit, and today I'm here to talk to you about this new, super up-to-date, latest model rectangle. Now, this rectangle, as you can see, is a very special shape. Now, the rectangle has four sides. Let us count them. Four sides. Uh, the top, that's one side. Uh, the bottom here, that's two. Uh, this side over here, that's three sides. And way over, way over here, that's four. Okay, see, four sides. Now, you will also notice that the rectangle has four corners. And each of these corners is the same. In other words, each of those corners goes zzz, zzz, just like that, you see? 
Now remember, friends, the rectangle with four sides and four corners, all the same, and it's got two eyes and <laughs> two eyes. Hi. Excuse me, fellow, but uh, would you mind uh, sort of bugging out of here? Because I'm trying to explain about the uh, rectangle, and uh, if you could just leave so I could do my explanation ha, about ha, the rectangle. Sure, buddy. Ha. All right, fine. Now, ha. Uh, <clears throat> as I was about to say, the rectangle here has four sides, one of which is broken. Ha. And it's also got uh, uh, a, uh, another ha. broken... Uh, Listen, why don't you just leave and uh, go find yourself a circle or a square or something like that, huh? Okay, bye-bye. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, uh, what you see here uh, used to be a rectangle. And it still is. Hmm? It's a wreck, and it's a tangle. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Hey, uh, see, I told you Kermit was an expert. <laughs> I think I'm going to invite him to my next class. Oh, yeah. Without, the, without the monster. <laughs> no monster. Yeah, the monsters in the classroom. That's a good <laughs> chance. I think he'll take my job away. No, I don't know. He's pretty good. Uh, Honey, well, hmm? it's getting awfully late. You know, I promised Troy that I would read her that story. Oh, that's well, good, because I have some work to do you down at the store. No, no, no. Come on, okay. I got that Look, money on the road. I'm not trying to get rid of these handsome men. Oh. No. Can I have him? Got yeah. that? Yeah, thanks. Okay. So. Thanks for the coffee. Delicious. Susan, I'm going to be right back. Okay. Uh, uh, ten minutes, or so I'll be back. All right. Hi, here she is. Hi, Troy. Oh, nice to see you. Nice to see you. Why don't you sit right here, honey? I have the book I promised to read you. Let's see how the story goes. Oh, this is going to be a nice story. I read it already. I have a tree, it's called. I have a tree. It's strong and tall as a giant. And the branches are like big arms. And the leaves make shadows on the ground. See that big tree? Mm -hmm. All through the springtime, I like my tree for thinking and reading and being where no one can see me. It's my secret place. I have a tree, but really, it belongs to all of us. It belongs to my brother, Mike. He likes it for his house. A hideaway, way up high, tree kind of house where he has a club with his friends. Sometimes our tree belongs to Marie, who lives next door. She likes our tree for a swing, a flyaway, soar up and down again swing, a just for one trapeze kind of swing. Marie's a circus queen. See her up there? Yeah. My best friend James likes our tree for hide and go seek. Home free, all. Anyone round my base is it. All through the summer, I like our tree for a pirate ship. Whiskers is my crew, and I'm the captain of the sea. Whiskers must be his dog. Up with the sail, mate. Some hot afternoons, I watch my sister Patsy set a table in the shade. Patsy knows it's the best place of all for girls and for dolls and for pouring tea. Our tree has a hole in the trunk, a small hole, but deep and hidden from sight. Sometimes I tiptoe out after dark for a secret cold letter, a baseball card or a bag of marbles that James has left for me. I leave him a piece of bubble gum and a seashell. Our tree is a treasure chest. Then in the fall, a storm shakes our tree. Winds roar through its branches and rain lashes at its leaves. Will some branches blow away? Will they break to the ground? We run to the window to look. Then we all smile. The storm's gone and our tree is there, strong and safe. And millions of red and gold leaves make a, a bright carpet on the grass. We run through the leaves and we kick them. That's fun. We roll in them and we jump in them and we throw them in the air. My cousin Sam builds houses for birds, singing birds, 
nesting birds, worm hungry birds. He hangs these, these houses in our tree so the birds have a home when it rains and when it's very cold. One winter morning, snow falls. And there's our tree, catching the snow and holding it. We slide on the snow, and, and we run to our tree. And because it's there, we feel glad inside. As winter turns to spring again, I like our tree for a wishing place. Wish, wish, I'm going to wish. Not for a kitten, not for a fish, I'm going to wish there will always be a tree for us all. And then we can say, we have a tree. That's a good big tree. See all the children that that, that tree can have? Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. <sighs> now, how about a message, two messages from the number six? One, two, three, four. play a game of checkers. That's a good idea, Jim. Sure it is. Now, why don't you pull up that other chair? Okay. Come over here. <laughs> I'm gonna beat you today, Jim. We'll soon see about that. Hey, Jim. There's something wrong with my chair. Buddy, there is nothing wrong with your chair. If you had any sense, you'd see that that chair was not made to go on that side of the table. It was made to go on this side of the table. So all we have to do is switch chairs. Wow. <laughs> there we go. Very simple. <laughs> Hold it. What is, Jim? Buddy, I think you're right. There is something wrong with this chair. I got an idea, Jim. What? All we have to do is to turn the table around. Huh? For once in your life, you've had a good idea. <laughs> good boy. There you grab go. the heavy end, I'll grab the light end. Right. 
Lift it up. And we'll turn it right around. And we go. Round and round. Oh, I'm sharp today, huh, Jim? It's a good <laughs> idea. <laughs> that chair is still wrong for the table. It wasn't such a good idea I had, was it? It's a terrible idea. Wait a minute now. This chair is not facing this side of the table, right? Right. All we have to do is move the table over to that side of the chair, and then the chair will be facing the table. Wow. Okay. Okay, Jim. Oh. <laughs> here we go. Right down here. Right. In front of the chair. You did it again, Jim. Of course I did it again. Good boy. Oh, yeah. Fix everything. <laughs> Hey, Jim. Jim? Hold everything. Get up, buddy. There's something very peculiar going on here. There's something wrong here, Jim. If we're going to play checkers, huh? the table has to be between the two chairs, right? Good boy. All we have to do is move the table between the two chairs and we're ready to play checkers. That's it, Jim. That's the idea. You did it, Jim. I think I really did it this time. <laughs> OK. Ah. Let's move the table right in between the two chairs. And a nice game of checkers. And today. now we're going. That chair is still not facing this table. Well, that's it, buddy. It looks like we're not going to play checkers today. Not going to play checkers? I don't see how we can. Jim, I wanted to play checkers today. I don't see how we're going to do it. you do that? Well, I... Well, never matter how you did it, as long as you did it, now we can get down to our checker game. Yeah. Finally. Boy, it's gonna be fun to play checkers with you today, Jim. Hold it. What is it, Jim? Oh, there's something wrong here. You, you know every time we play checkers, I play with the red checkers. Jim always plays with the red checkers, right? What color are these checkers? Those are black checkers, Jim. Where are my red checkers? Your red checkers are right here in front of me. What are we gonna do now, Jim? I have an idea. All we have to do is switch the chairs around. That's all we have, to, all do. We have to do. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Very simple. <laughs> Eleven eighths and one cookie. Twelve eighths and no cookie. Hi, we were uh, 
Leslie and I were just looking at some pictures of Buddy going down a sliding board, and we were about to put them in the right order. Maybe you can help us. Here's a picture of uh, Buddy at the bottom of the sliding board, and here he is just about to go up, and here he is part way down, and here he is at the top of the sliding board. Now, which one do you think should come first, Leslie? That one. This one? Where he has to climb up, huh? All right, let's put that one over here. And which would be next then? He would be at the bottom? No. No. I think it would be up there. This one? Yeah. At the top, huh? Okay, that's two. This one looks right already, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Going down. And then we have another one of him at the bottom. Let's see, let's see if that's the way it really happened, okay? Hi, Jim. Yeah? Well, that's the way it really happened. We didn't, we didn't know that's what happened over here, that uh, Jim was coming by with some dishes, right? Hey, that's yeah. kind of fun. Let's do it again, all right? Hi. I've got some more pictures of Buddy and Jim over here. Good. Okay. Let's look at these. Here's one of Buddy. Uh -huh. And here's another one. Here's another one. He seems to be opening something, huh? Now, which one would come first here? He's mm. giving him the present. I think that he's, would be the first. He's giving him the present. Uh -huh. Okay, let's let's try and see how that works. We'll put that one first. Mm -hmm. Now, he'd probably have to open it, wouldn't he? Yeah. So that is. It. Here he is opening it. So that should be number two, huh? Mm -hmm. Then. I think he would be looking at it. He'd be looking at it? That's probably this one here, huh? That's number three, looking at the present. And then he would and, be all mad. And then he's, well, mad or he's confused. or he's confused or pretty surprised. Let's take another look and see if that's the way it really happened, okay? Hey, Jim. What is that? Buddy, this is a present for you. For me? Or you. <laughs> what is it, Jim? It's your favorite thing. Oh. Thanks, Jim. Oh, well. It's not a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It surely wasn't a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, was it? It was a jack-in-the-box. No wonder he looks surprised. Sal, did you ever take a trip through the woods? No. Never? No. What about you, Rico? No. Nope. Duncan? Well, yeah, I think so. You think so? You remember what you saw? I saw trees, mostly. Trees? Do you ever go into the park? And the, I did. You did? Yeah. yeah. You see any insects? No. None? Yes. What about birds? I saw a lot of them. A lot of what? Birds. A lot of birds? What kind? I don't know. Any kind. Yeah. What'd you see, Rico? In, in the park? Yeah. Birds. Remember what kind? No. Did you ever see a frog? 
Yeah. No. Huh? You did? Yeah. You we did? One. You caught one? What about you? One time we were on a trip, I um I had my lunchbox and I caught two and I put it in my lunchbox and I took it home. <laughs> and what'd you do with them, huh? I kept them in my bowl. Oh yeah. Well let me tell you, it's always fun this trip through the woods. There's so much to see. Uh, in fact, let's all of us take a trip through the woods right now. One day, David and Jill went on a picnic with their mommy and daddy. They had never been in the woods before, so they decided to take a little walk and see what they could see. Look what I caught! A spider! Is he dead? No. No. So no. He got away. Hi, Daddy. Can you see him? Yeah, he's right there. See him? They walked a little further and came to a stream. There's a fish! He's coming! David! A fish! He's gone. What is that thing in the water? And he's a frog! Okay. I want to try to catch mine again. I got him again. But now, I now I'm going to go show they thought the way the frog jumped around was funny, so they tried doing it themselves. As they were jumping along, they saw one of these. Do you know what it is? A, a turtle. A very tiny turtle. Four legs. A shell. He found his shell, right? I wonder how he got it on. He had it on. Maybe he found it. Then they stopped to pick some berries. Very small berries that look like tiny little apples. Here are some of the other things they saw. They went back and told about the things they saw. Can you name some of them? A spider, a leaf, a fish, a frog, a turtle. If you go to the woods, see if you can find what David and Jill saw. Bob. Yeah? Did you hear the news? What? Lulu is back in town. Pass it on, okay? Hey, Susan. Hmm? Did you hear the news? No, what? Lulu's back in town. Pass it on. Oh! Hey, Garden! Huh? Did you hear the news that Lulu's back in town? Pass it on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hey, Oscar! Lulu's back in town. Pass it on. No! Gotta get my old tuxedo press. Gotta sew a button on my vest. Cause tonight I've gotta look my best. Why? Lulu's back in town. Oh, no! Gotta get a somewhere gotta shine my shoes and slick my hair gotta get myself a boutonniere how come lulu's back in town oh good grief i can tell all my pets all my pretty coquettes mr otis regrets that he won't be around you can tell a mailman not to call I ain't coming home 
footfall that I might not get back home at all. You don't mean Lulu's back in town. Oh! Here we go now, follow me. Ooh. Sorry. It's okay. Yeah. Ah. Lula's back in town. You can tell all my pets. You tell them. All my pretty coquettes. Yeah, them too. Mr. All the street rats. Be wrong. You can tell the mailman not to call too. I ain't coming home until the fall, and I might not get back home at all. Lulu's back in town. That's right, friends. Lulu's back in town. to play one of these things is not like the others. Come up really close to the set so you can see, okay? One of these things is not like the others. One of these things doesn't belong. Can you tell which thing is not Now don't be confused because each one is a shoe, but one of them is different, okay? Well, did you guess which thing is not like the others? Did you guess which thing doesn't belong? If you guess this thing is not like the others, you know, you're right, and you can tell me why, I bet. You know that these three are all the same size, and they're big, but this one is little. Okay, you ready to go on? All right, get ready for this one. You looking at them? One of these things is not like the others. One of these things... one is a ball, but one is different from the other three. So look at them. Did you guess which thing is not like the others? Did you guess which thing doesn't belong? If you guess this thing is not like the others. Right again, and it's the same as with the shoes. These three balls are big, and that one's little. Hey, that was fun, but if you want to have some more fun, let's go over to the play yard, because Lou Rawls is over there, and he's got a terrific song for us. Here's a song I'm gonna sing song that you can sing The story of the ABCs After a while I want you to join me A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, -A. your ABCs. Now you come on, come on and join with me. I said A, hey. B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, 
Uh, this is me, Kermit the Frog, and today I'm going to talk to you about two pretty nice words, namely tall and short. And I've arranged to have two of my friends come in and help me about this. Uh, first of all, this is Sam. And hello to you, Sam. And uh, on the other hand, this is Harry. Come on in, Harry. And hi to you. Now you can plainly see that old Sam here is very short, because I have to be way down here to talk to Sam. Mm -hmm. While Harry, on the other hand, is so tall, I have to go way up here to look him in the face. Right? So you can plainly see the difference. Sam is short, while Harry is tall. Right? Uh, oh, wait a minute. Uh, I guess I got that wrong. Actually, uh, Harry is the short one, while Sam is tall. No, no. I was, I was right the first time, really, because it is Sam is the short one, while Harry is the tall one. No, no. Uh, Harry is short. Well, Sam is tall. No, actually, the uh, tall is the short one. Well, uh, short is the tall one. Uh, as, uh, oh, wait a minute! Wait a minute. Now, there's one thing I'm sure of, and that's that one of you is supposed to be short. No, 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 no. That's, that's, no, that's no good either, because one of you is supposed to be tall. No, no, now listen, you guys. Uh, one's, one is short and one is tall, because otherwise, how can I explain about tall and short when you're going up and down like that? Uh, uh, just a second. There, there's there's going to be a short pause here while I do some tall talking. Now, come on, you guys. You're ruining the whole thing. I'm, I'm supposed to be talking about tall and short. You're going up and down like that. How can I explain about you're supposed to be tall and he's supposed to be short, or he's supposed to be short and he's supposed to be tall? For goodness sake. One, two, three, four, five. Seven spooky spiders. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven nickels. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven pumpkin pies. Oh. Okay, friends, uh, I'm going to try again, but this time I'm going to tell you about two other words, namely little and big. Now, I've got uh, two other fellows uh, to help me this time, uh, a couple of guys who don't keep changing size, you know. So, uh, first of all, there's Frank. Uh, uh, hi there. I sure am happy I can be here to help Mr. Kermit. <laughs> yeah, he's a cute little fellow, isn't he? Um, now, on the other hand, over here is a fellow named Harold. It's my pleasure to be here, buddy. <clears throat> yeah, uh, okay. Uh, now, uh, you can plainly see the difference that uh, 
Frank here is very, very little. Boy, I certainly am. Right. And uh, it's uh, pretty clear that uh, Harold here is very, very big. You betcha. <laughs> okay, that, that's unnecessary, Harold. Uh, so now today we have talked about those two words, little and big. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> uh, some other time I'll tell you about another word, uh, huge. <laughs> Uh, hey, here's a letter for Mr. Slutty Ant White. Here's a letter for Oh, I think we ought to take our turns. Oh, yeah, uh, we'll that's, never get on That's with a good that. idea. Why, why don't well, you, you go you first? Go first? Well, you go. I thought that maybe you'd go. Oh, down all, right. all right, all right. Uh, here's a... Here's, no? No, let's no. do it alphabetically. Alphabetically, all right. that's a good idea. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. L, L, L. Bob. All right. Here's our looting Bob. Hello. Hello. Now it is my great pleasure to present to you two messages from your good friend and mine, the letter L. Yeah. <clears throat> L, lunchbox. <laughs> L. Oh, hello there. I'd like you to meet my friend, the letter L. Recognize it? L is very useful, and so are things beginning with an L. Here's one. A ladder. A ladder is very useful when you want to climb up to a high place, like this. Hey, 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 hey. That was easy. Hey, come back here. I need that. Hey. A ladder is also a useful thing to get down from a high place. Uh, L M N O P Q Q Q. Yes, you're good. And now here's our quickie, Gordon. Here's your Q. <laughs> uh, dear friends in television land, uh, <clears throat> here is a delightful message from the letter Q. <laughs> Uh, my name is Quincy, and I'm here to talk about Q. Uh, here's a Q. There now. Oh, oh wait a minute. Hold it. Uh, that's not a Q. It's almost a Q, but something is missing. Oh, yeah. I knew I left off something. There. That's a Q. Now, Q is used to make words like quick and quench, quarter and quiz. Question. Uh, don't bother me now, kid. I'm busy listing words that start with Q. Like queasy and quagmire. Question. Uh, not now, son. There's quote and quite and quadricentennial. Question. How about quality and quinine, quiver and quaver? Question. I'm, I'm sorry, uh, you wanted to ask a question? No! I just wanted to say the question starts with a Q. Oh, why, yes, question. It certainly does. Uh, what else starts with Q? Uh, let me think. Uh, how about queen? Bow before your queen. You're not my queen. I am so. You are not. I am so. You will notice that quarrel is also a Q word. I know another Q word. Quack, like a duck. Quack, 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 quack. Quiet. Oh, hey, quiet is a Q word. So is quit. I'm quitting. Well, now, do you remember all the Q words we quoted? There was quick and quench, quarter, quiz, queasy, quagmire, quote, quite, quadricentennial, quality, quinine, quiver, quaver, question, queen, quarrel, quack, quiet, and quit. And I'm quitting. Mm, Q, 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 R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, 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 Y. <clears throat> Friends in TV land, we'd like to present to you now the one, the only, we call him our own Mr. Hooper. Hmm. Hooper. Oh. Oh, 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 while my colleagues have presented to you 
delightful messages. From their letters, I uh, believe that you will find, you will find... Meaning? Uh, meaning, and, 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 and... Happiness. Happiness in the simple messages I have for you. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh dear. Uh, two brief messages from the letter Y. This is a letter, the letter Y. Do you know how I know? It looks like the trunk of a tree where the yellow yahoos go. Listen. Yahoo! There's a yahoo now. I know I hear a sigh. Sigh. He's just waking up from a nap in the tree that looks like a Y. Watch it now. He's up with a yell. Yahoo! Yip, 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 yip. What do you think your mother would do if you yelled like the yellow yahoo? Boo! After a yell and a tasty lunch, 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 a yellow yahoo rubs his tummy. When you ask him if his lunch was good, he answers, yes, quite yummy. And then, and then, the yahoo yawns. He yawns, that yellow yahoo. Then it's up the tree and fast asleep, and then to dream about you. He dreams about you, the yellow yahoo, through the night under the sky, by the tree, that looks like a Y. Why? Yo yo. Hmm. <laughs> whoa, 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 why? Hey, that was a good Pretty message. Good. Yes, uh, that was yeah. a good why message. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, like that. How's your message? My message, my message is that we have to go. Uh, it's our time, uh, yeah. But we're coming back, so you come back and join us on Sesame Street as soon as you can, okay? And Bob, if you can get these letters together. Yeah, well, okay, I'll get them well, all Mr. Together. Hooper, nice afternoon. have a good day. Have a good, good day. So about it. Sesame Street has been brought to you today by the letters L, Q, and why? And by the numbers six and seven. I Have a Tree, written by Lily Chapin, pictures by Martha Alexander, published by the David White Company, copyright 1969. Sesame Street is a production of The Children's Television Workshop.